Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel Food Tech Insight. In this video, we are going to solve few numericals on topic D, F and Z value. The numericals are collected from the previous year's question papers of few competitive exams. These are the summarized formula on D, Z and F value which we have already covered in our previous video. Kindly go through it so that it will be easy for you to understand the concept on these topics. So let's begin by solving first numerical. Stored for 18 hours at 20 degrees Celsius result in 200 times increase in bacterial count. Storing the same milk at the same temperature for only 6 hours will cause the bacteria count to be increased by so we have two conditions here, right? 18 hours and 6 hours. And the temperature is fixed for both, that is 20 degrees Celsius. So let's initial population be N0. So final what we have, it is already given N is equal to 200 times of N0. From the previous video, we know the formula Ln n by n naught is equal to minus k t we will put our values 200 n naught divided by n naught is equal to minus k it into 18 hours n naught n naught is cut so minus k is equal to 5.29 that is ln 200 divided by 18 we will get 0.294 in this case, let's take initial B and not final. We don't know. We have to find this. How many times? That is X of N not right? So ln N by N not is equal to minus KT. So ln X into N not divided by N not is equal to minus K into 6 hours. So it's good ln x is equal to minus k we know 0 0.294 so 0 0.294 into 6 and we have to remove this ln so x is equal to e to the power 1.766 that is 0 0.294 into 6 is equal to 1.766 so the final answer we will get 5.848 so this is our final answer so answer b will be our correct answer So the next question is a medium acid food is sterilized at 100 degrees Celsius in a can to reduce the number of heat resistant organism from an initial count of 10 to the power 4 per can to a probability of 1 in million. We have to find d 100 degrees Celsius value of this organism. But we have given d 120 degrees Celsius 0 0.2 and d 100 degrees Celsius we have to find. Okay. So let we take 100 degree Celsius be temperature 1 and 120 degree Celsius be temperature 2. We know the formula dt1 by dt2 is equal to 10 to the power t2 minus t1 divided by z. So d100 degree Celsius is equal to d120 degree Celsius into 10 to the power 120 minus 100 divided by z we have already got 10 degree celsius that is 10 so what is d 120 0 0.2 into 10 to the power 120 minus 100 divided by 10 then it will be 2 therefore 20 minute so answer b is the correct answer next question for an initial spore load equal to 25 spores per container inoculated with cholestidium botulinum having d 121 degree celsius 0 0.25 minute and the spoilage probability of the container subjected to f 121 is 1.5 minute so we have to find this spoilage probability and what all the things we have given d 121 degree celsius is 0 0.25 minute f 121 degree celsius 1.5 minute 
initial load we know 25 spores per container so from the formula ft is equal to dt log n naught by n so f is 1.5 is equal to 0 0.25 minute into log 25 divided by n 1.5 divided by 0 0.25 is 6 is equal to log 25 by n we have to remove this log so uh, it will be 10 to the power 6 is equal to 25 by n so n will be 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 5 which can be written as 25 into 10 to the power minus 6 now we have to find spoilage probability right probability so it will be n by n naught what we have n 25 into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by what is n naught that is 25 so this spoilage probability will be 10 to the power minus 6 so b is the correct answer so next question is milk sterilization kinetics is based on inactivation of index microorganism bacillus teothermophilus the d values at 121.1 degree celsius and 139.1 degree celsius are 1.2 minute and 0 0.019 minute for 12 log reduction of this microorganism at 130 degree celsius the processing time in second is so processing time we can find it out less t is equal to d into log n by n naught and d will be at 130 degree celsius we need to find so we don't have the value of d 130 degree celsius so we have to find d1 t t2 is equal to 10 to the power t2 minus t1 by z at first we have to find this z so from we have already two d values so let's take d1 t1 is 121.1 and t2 as 139.1 so 1.2 divided by 0 0.019 is equal to 10 to the power 139.1 minus 121.1 divided by z so what is 1.2 divided by 0 0.019 is 63.157 is equal to 10 to the power this divided uh, this one is 18 by z so we have to remove this 10 so we will take in left hand side as log so log 63.157 is 1.80 is equal to 18 by z so z is 18 divided by 1.80 that is 10 so we got the 10 value uh, z value as a 10 so we now in this case we will take t1 as 130 degree celsius and t2 as 139.1 so t130 degree celsius is equal to d t2 that is 0 0.019 into 10 to the power 139.1 minus 130 divided by 10 right so 0 0.019 into this one will be 10 to the power 0.91 so what we will get 0 0.154 minute so at the end we have to find the processing time that we have mentioned earlier in the formula processing time is equal to 0 0.154 that is d1 30 degree celsius into log n by n naught we have got 12 log reduction right so it will be 12 so the final answer will be 1.85 minute this is the final answer next question is a suspension contains 3.6 into 10 to the power 3 spores of cholestidium botulinum having a d value of 1.5 minute at this temperature and 8.5 into 10 to the power 6 spores of bacillus having a d value of 0 0.9 minute so we have d121 degree celsius 1.5 minute and the initial population we got 
into 10 to the power 3 spores and similarly another d value at same temperature is 0 0.9 minute but initial population is 8.5 into 10 to the power 6 the suspension is heated at constant temperature the heating time needed in minute for the suspension to obtain a survival probability of 10 to the power minus 3 for the most heat resistant organism so final value is given 10 to the power minus 3 so let find time t1 is equal to d1 into log n naught by n so what is d1 1.5 into log 3.6 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 10 to the power minus 3 so t1 will be 12.83 minute similarly t2 0 0.9 into 8.5 into 10 to the power 6 divided by 10 to the power minus 3 so 0 0.9 into this one will be 9.929 so it will be 8.936 minute t1 is greater than t2 so the heating time will be the greater one that is 12.83 minute so that's all for this video if you have find the video useful kindly like share and subscribe to our channel for any update on government job for food department you can follow Kalpana's channel. The link will be provided in the description box. Thank you.